Hello, I'm Phoebe, and I really don't want to practice today. Don't get me wrong, I love music. Working on songs, playing them, the feeling of expanding my skills and getting better and learning new things, it's like one of my favorite things to do ever. But sometimes I just don't want to practice. I just don't. I'm making this video partially to share some of the tips and tricks I use when I don't want to practice, because I'm pretty sure everybody feels like this sometimes, and partially to remind myself of the tips and tricks and actually make myself go practice. So without further ado, let's get into it. Number one, set a timer. I find it really helpful, especially when I have a short attention span and I'm really bored with what it is that I'm practicing, to just set a timer for 10 minutes or even just 5 minutes. Um, because it's tempting to keep like checking my phone and texting people, but realistically, there are very few notifications that you would get on your phone that are so urgent that they can't wait 10 minutes. Setting a timer for just 10 minutes kind of helps me compartmentalize that urge to check my messages, because I know the timer will go off in 10 minutes, and then I can take some time and respond to the messages or check whatever it is I feel like I need to check, but I won't do that till I've done my 10 minute section of practice. So that just helps ooch things along even very slowly, you know, every bit helps. Number two, set a goal. Instead of just kind of sitting down and flailing around and then not really knowing if you've done enough, especially if you're like in a class where there's specific things that you're going to need to play, it's helpful to set a goal, especially like just a small goal if you're having a hard time getting motivated. Just set a small goal so that at the end of your practice session you can say, I can now play the E scale on the keyboard with both hands without messing up much. I'm trying to take a keyboard class this semester and it is a lot more structured than the banjo classes that I've been taking, so I've been needing a lot more discipline to be able to get all of the scales and chords and things down, so setting goals like that is very helpful. Number three, eat candy. Seriously, like, get yourself a nice little treat. It will associate practicing with something good. So if you kind of have a routine of like, after dinner, I'm going to make myself some tea, get some chocolate, sit down, and practice banjo. It's nice. Then you then I start kind of looking forward to it. It's like, oh, okay, the day is winding down. I'm going to sit in my practice spot with a little snack and a little drink and have a pleasant time practicing the banjo. Or if it's less of a pleasant instrument to practice, <coughs> keyboard, <laughs> you can either use candy as like a little reward, like, aha, I played this scale. Now I'll have a chocolate chip. Or just kind of frantically eat your bowl of candy to give you energy to just hate practice and just get it done. Because scales are so boring. I enjoy practicing banjo much more than practicing keyboard, but I'm trying to stick to it and, like, actually pass this class. So candy. That's a good one. Chocolate chips are my go-to because they're chocolate. They're small enough that you could either have a handful and, like, have a good hearty amount per bite, or you can just have a little bit at once, and just, like, you play a scale, you have a chocolate chip, or, um, you, you, like, let one melt in your mouth while you're working on a song, and then you have some tea, and it's very nice. Number four, make a little motivation chart. This is kind of what I'm talking about. It feels kind of childish at first if you, you just have to ignore the fact that it kind of looks like what you do for your kindergartner, because if it works for you, who cares if it's, like, something a kid would use? If it works, it works, and it's fun. So I made this one just now to motivate me to practice keyboard because I've missed, like, three days of practice, and I am trying to not give up on this class before I have to. So you can see I've set out, like, the amount of days. I want to try to practice 30 minutes a day, and if I do, then I check off the little box, and when I get to the end of it or at certain little points along the way, there will be little rewards, like... Something small, like about the same cost of a cup of coffee. Just anything that gives you a little bit of serotonin. Maybe getting a weird new hat or something like some weird little trinket that you've been eyeing on Amazon. Maybe that just works for me. Because if you can't tell by my background, I do like weird little trinkets. But yeah, it doesn't matter if it looks like it's for a kindergartner. If it works for you, just, just do it. Like, if it works, it works. And if it helps you pass a college class... It doesn't matter that it looks like a kindergartner's study aid. Maybe there's a reason we use those for kindergartners, because they work. For me, at least. Number five, watch TV. When I'm practicing techniques on the banjo that are just boring enough that it's very tempting to lose focus, like I need to practice one jump from like, ba ba, and I just need to get that in my muscle memory. But it's so boring that I keep drifting off. 
then I'll either find a show that I've already watched or find a show that's not very good and I'll turn the volume pretty low down, put on sub captions, and like kind of half watch the show and half practice. This doesn't work for things where you need to be getting like a comprehensive idea of like a whole passage, but if it's just small things like I need to play this section without messing up this note and you need to do it like for 30 minutes, just put on a boring TV show. I watched most of Doogie Howser MD. It's not a great show, but I watched it and it helped me get the banjo done. Again, if it works, it works. So those are my five tips. Hopefully they were helpful. I'm gonna go practice keyboard for 30 minutes. And if you clicked on this video, that probably means that you need to practice too. So how about you go practice for 30 minutes also? And get yourself some candy. I'm gonna get myself some chocolate chips. And we're gonna do this, all right? It's, it's gonna work out. I'm gonna try. If you have practice or study motivation techniques, please leave them in the comments, because I need all of them I can take, because keyboard is kind of boring compared to banjo. I'm struggling here. If you enjoyed this video, you can leave a like. That would be great. It would help me out quite a lot. Go practice. I'm gonna go practice. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.